58 starts right now. And right now, a busy start to the summer fire season across the Sacramento region. Two separate brush fires near Kyle Exlow today, as well as nine other fires in the county. And the fire officials say this is only the start. KCRA3's Brian Heap has been following the dangerous conditions tonight. He joins us live from Cal Expo. Brian? Uh, Kelly, I'm standing on the American River bike trail, and to the side of me here, you can see this is the kind of dry grass that goes all the way from the river to Cal Expo. It's fuel, really, when you're talking about a fire. And as one firefighter told me, as long as we're in this severe drought, there's no such thing as fire season. The whole year is fire season. One thing we're fortunate, though, tonight is that the, because of some preventative firefighting that's been done here in the city of Sacramento, we avoided a repeat of a fire in this same spot a year ago. For Greg Lindemulder, the trail behind Cal Expo is a regular ride, and today's fire wasn't the first he's seen in the area. The people out here smoking and maybe starting campfires and uh, not being careful with their, uh, with their fire. And a scene that is likely to repeat itself all summer, a firefighting helicopter disappearing into a cloud of smoke. This chopper circled and dropped water for more than an hour as a grass fire burned near the American River Trail on another sizzling June day. It's important to note that the drought is obvious, that the fire behavior and conditions are extreme, and this is, again, evident of what's to come for the rest of the season. Live Copter 3 showed a view of the fire from above. And after the fire was out, we were able to drive closer to the scorched ground. Right here, you can see some of the hot spots. Firefighters will be keeping an eye on this all night long to make sure it doesn't get worse. Take a look behind me. You see nothing but fuel. Firefighters say some of the work they've done in this area in the last few weeks kept today's fire from being a whole lot worse. We've been training out here for the last month, and those training burns, uh, one of the secondary uh, you know, byproducts from it is that it created a, a break. And today, that break proved to be invaluable. A water tanker hosed down grass closer to Cal Expo. No one wanted a repeat of the big fire there last July. Almost a year later, you can still see burn marks on a palm tree near the racetrack. As long as this grass mixes with hot, dry weather, this place will be threatened. It's beautiful, and I'm just glad they're so quick to uh, take care of the fires when they do happen. And if these controlled burns are helping, then I'm all in favor of that as well. And back here live, uh, you can see uh, this is, again, some of that dry grass. Firefighters say even though we've had a little bit of rain recently, it has had no effect in terms of being able to uh, moisten that stuff up and make it any less combustible. Uh, there was a second fire here in the same area, just a little bit west of this one. Firefighters tell me, though, the two are not related. In other words, one of them did not start the other. And at this point tonight, firefighters are still trying to figure out how both of them started. We are live near the American River Trail. Brian Heap, KCRA 3. News. And Brian, Livecopter 3 was over the scene of another 